Hey guys, Kyle from Screams and Whispers here. Um, actually doing a follow-up review on a product uh, I previously did, uh, which is the Overtones uh, instrument cable, which you'll see here. Um, I've had a lot of chance to use this uh, live recording elsewhere um, since uh, my initial review. And um, have just a follow-up and wanted to kind of give you a chance to judge for yourself difference. Um, the most apparent place that the uh, the difference that the overtones cable makes and um, uh, please go back to my previous review for all the uh, the specs on this uh, lifetime guarantee um, handmade cables one at a time uh, highest quality components uh, proprietary technology that they're using in the actual cable itself that's where the magic happens according to them these are not cheap cables uh, this is your this is an expensive studio grade uh, high performing cable. Um, that said, how much difference can it make to you? Well, anything that sucks the tone out of your instrument um, is something that should matter and make a difference to a musician. Um, so that's, uh, that's where this comes in. So what I did, the most apparent place that you hear the difference in an overtones cable versus a regular cable um, is in the bass, in the low end. Uh, so I actually uh, grabbed my bass, uh, plugged up uh, a regular, um, and this is your standard Livewire Advantage uh, everyday cable that you're going to get from Guitar Center or anywhere else. Um, you know, and and this is a, a decent one. It's you know Nutric ends. It's it's not you know super cheap. It's not the the garbage cables you get. Uh, it's, it's your standard average cable, um, and. I plugged it up and basically <laughs> the exact same channel going into the exact same interface, no processing, no, this is straight into the recording interface through a channel, um, changing no settings, literally changing cables between this cable and that cable. Uh, recorded a bunch of bass lines and then uh, switched cables, recorded the exact same bass lines. I'm going to go back, and when I edit it, uh, what you guys will see is this bass line with one cable, this bass line with the overtones cable. The live wire, the overtones, the live wire, the overtones. You can judge the difference for yourself. Um, I think it makes a huge difference in the low end, the robustness, and the clarity and the articulation of the low end. Um, and that even applies to acoustic guitar. Um, it's a little less apparent in electric. I, I probably wouldn't say that this is necessary for the electric guitarist. Uh, but for an acoustic player, for a bass player, this is, uh, I think, a worthy worthy investment. Um, so I want you to go check it out. But, uh, yeah, so what you're going to see following this is just a bunch of clips. Make the judgment for yourself. But no matter what you do, go check out Overtones. Uh, and uh, all their information will be at the uh, end of the video. Thanks.
All right, so impressions, you decide. Uh, for my thoughts, uh, just listening back to uh, those pieces uh, side by side, one against each other, kind of the same thing I hear live. Uh, the overtones cable seems to be a little bit more articulate. Uh, and the biggest thing that was transparent on that is that the kind of natural harmonic distortion of the signal is a lot lower, uh, better fidelity on the overtones cable. Um, hopefully that's transparent to you guys. Uh, that's kind of what I'm hearing with it. Um, but judge for yourself if uh, value for money uh, and whether or not you think uh, how important that is to you in a cable. Um, obviously, uh, for an audiophile or somebody who's really, you know, desperately seeking that thing that's going to keep their tone intact, uh, and you want to spend the money to do it, Overtones is definitely doing a great job. So that's my two cents for what it's worth. Uh, so thank you guys, and uh, check out Overtones.